Good evening. Hello, hello. I cannot listen. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I see that I am sending sounds. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, teacher. Ah, yes, you can hear me. I can hear you, yeah. Hello, okay. teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. ¿Qué me averiguó de mis clases? <laughs> Quiero terminar mi carrera. De pronto somos compañeros y le doy copia. <laughs> No me averiguo nada. Si me puedo inscribir o no. No he tenido chance de buscar por mis mi mi pensum de la modular. En How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Nice. Yes, teacher. It was very, very nice. Nice, good. Very uh, nice. Who of you is the one that is studying uh, to become a lawyer? Don Rafael o Don Marco? No, I'm no, I'm not a lawyer. I'm no. Marco, but I'm not a lawyer. No. No, no, not you. No, no me. It's uh, not me. Es que como hubo un tiempo en que no los podía estar viendo, entonces no sé quién de todos mis estudiantes es el que está estudiando derecho en la UMA. Creí que era uno de ustedes. No, I'm, I'm a psychologist. And I, okay. I graduated um, in 1988. So 1988. I have, I have a, long, a lot of years. And you, you, haven't, you haven't got into university since you graduated? Excuse me? No. No ha estudiado des, desde que se graduó. Oh yeah, sí, yes, I was studying um, uh, postgraduate in Fepade, yes. with Cafe Pade. I okay. I made a, made a, a postgraduate in business in in human resources management of human resources. Okay, that's good. I yeah. I I studied. Uh, Accounting for non-accountant at uh, Yuka. Oh, Yuka, yeah. Yes, 
uh, it was a diplomado. Right. And I also got several postgraduated from UTEC and also uh, everything focused on, on teaching. And now that I'm here in Panama, I got my master's degree on higher education. Oh. Because I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to, uh, to have my, um, my job permit, permit document yeah. under, under my profession. Okay, then I can work as a teacher here. In Panama, no? Yes, but right now I am, uh, the, the first job I got is, is the one, well, with you online, yeah. uh, but, but I can do this in El Salvador. And yeah. the one that I just got also with Odilo, that is teaching children here. Uh, but right now I have 660 students. 550 students? Yes. But uh, what label are you teaching? It's uh, uh, ch with children. Kids, children. Children, yes. Sixth oh. graders, but yeah. I'm a teacher. They, they don't follow instructions. That's what I don't want. I don't like about this, because I, uh, for, with the group I started today, I send them all everything on on Saturday and told them that I want to, I want them to get into the group the WhatsApp group, because we will be testing if they can get into the platform on Sunday, because I don't want them, because they had classes, their, their school, their former school, Monday morning, and I don't want them to try to get into the platform just a few minutes before we have the, the presential class but they don't pay attention the ones that gathered with me on sunday had no problems today i had about 100 and something students uh, with no problems but then when i finished the class i realized that i have more than 600 messages in the in the WhatsApp group with all the people that just joined the group and had no clue how to get into the platform because they didn't follow the instructions. And yeah. I didn't I didn't check on WhatsApp because I was with the other students that pay attention and follow instructions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe well, it's a it's a kind it's a kind of um, a revolution. I think I think that well, the, this is this the the, the uh, with the ones I'm working with right now, they are from uh, Spain. It is called yeah. Odilo, and oh. it, it's a beautiful platform. It's a beautiful platform. But, and have you have you but, have you have you ever have you seen the platform is that is used here in El Salvador because the the teach, the, the students are taking classes in in a semi presential you know uh, some days they're going to classroom presential and some days they're taking classes by well, 
actually, I, I, I don't know what kind of platform they are using actually, no? I have no the chance to get into the platform to check because you you have to, to have uh, credentials in order to do that. And I am no longer, I am no longer working for Minet, but uh, I will ask my ex to uh, lend me his, his credentials in order to see what are they doing. I guess that they are using uh, meetings uh, like uh, Teams. I know Flurry meeting or some. I, I guess they are using uh, Teams. The, the meeting that, is from, that, it's from Google, no? Yes, that, that platform is not is not so good. I prefer Model. The one that would take uses yeah. is very nice, but uh, the each teacher makes their their own uh, uh, model rooms. But you and... know something? I have I have uh, I I have a, I I have a speak with some people, some 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 fathers and some students, and they are so they they are okay. They they say that the platform they're using. Is working, so well, they because, have having well, some you know, when, when you when you have no clue what virtual education is, anything that they gave you is okay. Yeah. But when you already know something, I I love to work with Moodle rooms because yeah. each students each teacher make the 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 room, but it has to be like everybody working the same uh, environment, okay? Yeah. And then you put the things that you need in order to give your class, to deliver the class. Yeah. And uh, also you let the students uh, send you the material and present yeah. the material and, and all and that. The, it's, and it's, it's, it's too easy for the students uh, take they uh, take care for their their own own progress you know because yes. they are reviewing the platform yes. the progress they are having and yes and, and that's and why that's why kind of i like i like the odilo platform because they are using a lot of videos they are using a lot of uh, books and audio books and all that it, it's nice the material is nice um, yeah. uh, but there are some problems in order to get into the platform because the the icons it, to get into the platform and to it, it's not a friendly it's not a friendly environment oh yeah, and, and, and if they are delivering this for children they don't have uh, the same skills as a youngers or, or teenagers or older people, okay? Yeah. So I, I guess that they should, and for example, they they gave me supposedly a video uh, that showed the, the, the students how to get into the platform with, with the computer. And I mm -hmm. presented that video and the video is no longer available. Come on. Oh. So yeah. yesterday night, I was doing my own thing and I cannot do it in this computer that uh, has the micro okay because the platform is, uh, I, I cannot, I cannot uh, use this with the platform. I am always getting out and out and out because this computer is not strong enough. With the yeah. one that is strong enough, uh, it, the microphone is not working anymore. So I I said, I will do all the video in the computer and I run at the same time the WhatsApp uh, audio. And then I combine the video with the WhatsApp audio and it works. <laughs> you have a, a, a pretty creative <laughs> doing that. Yes. you know i'm a hacker <laughs> yeah. okay let's work remember that we have uh, this knowledge check 
uh, without doing. I don't remember if we do this. Oh, we haven't finished this, the comparison with past participles, I remember. Let me show you. Okay. Remember that this week we have a little bit more time to develop because we had to cover just one section in in the week, but we also have the the test, the middle term test. When you finish the the third section, you have the middle term test. Any of you have have done it already? Alguno ya lo hizo? No yet, no yet. No, no, no se preocupe, o sea, no es que deberían de haberlo hecho, pero hay gente que le gusta trabajar. Some people likes to work ahead. Teacher, I I I was work the three points zero, but I don't understand um the the test three point four. I don't understand. 2.4, uh, wait. Okay, here. Three. Okay, which one? 3.4. Ah, three, po no, you say two. Oh, ah. In <laughs> That's why I, I return. Uh, uh, wait, because we will go to the number three after we finish this knowledge checks and, and we check, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, now we have, uh, are you, are you uh, can you see the PPT? Comparison? No. Aspect? No. No? No, teacher, no. Okay. Don't worry. Sometimes this thing do what it wants to do, not what I want it to do. What about now? Can yes. You yes. Okay. Yes. Now, past participles. A doctor is better paid than a nurse. Okay, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. Okay, hoy no, verdad? Hoy en el, en el Salvador ganan más los police officers que los teachers. Okay, now remember that we were seeing comparisons using as, as, and using more than and less than. But now here we also are using uh, it with verbs and uh, it says earns more money than a nurse. But now with past participles, a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Here we are using the past participle after the better, better paid than a nurse. And we have the knowledge check and after that, uh, listen to the scriptures. We have a listening, okay. Let's see, let's check. We are going to do it, everything in the platform, okay. Vamos a hacer todo aquí en la plataforma. ¿Lo están viendo? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, you can read it here. Lo pueden leer o está muy pequeño. It's nice. Okay. Now it says unscramble the gerund phrases. O sea que están en desorden. O sea, scramble es así como revuelto. Por eso se llaman scrambled egg. Okay, entonces, 
eh, very challenging taking care of children. Hey, este ya lo hicimos. ¿Y por qué no me sale a mí como que ya lo hice? Le dimos enviar. Nos apareció que estaba bien. Le di siguiente. Y, y, y me sigue apareciendo como que no lo he hecho. Weird. In the play for is a, a mistake. Tiene que marcar esta página. Ahí donde dice marcar esta página. No, no. Porque las, el, las, las, las páginas, esto para marcar páginas, solo me sirve para saber hasta dónde voy a llegar en alguna clase. O sea, es este cheque, es este voladito, no es el cheque. El cheque lo va dando, el cheque lo va dando la plataforma conforme vamos caminando. Por ejemplo, aquí eh, está este video. Supuestamente yo ya lo vi. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, me parece como que no lo he visto. Any child, but in the previous lesson, when we teach, we do that um, for um, these jobs that you see here. Once again, I'll be publishing this document, so check it out, and, have easy to it. and attempt to use adjectives, nouns, verbs, and past forms. Si no, si no les aparece, si no les aparece el chequecito aquí, este, hay que reportarlo. Porque este, si no después va a parecer como que esto no lo hizo usted y le va bajando, le va descontando en la plataforma. A mí no me importa porque a mí no me dan, no me dan diploma. Pero en el caso de ustedes sí es importante que lo tengan. ¿verdad? Si no están saliendo estos chiquecitos así como está aquí, repórtelo con soporte técnico, por favor. Bien. Summer jobs. O sea, vamos a escuchar summer, summer jobs. Y después vamos a hacer este knowledge check. ¿Verdad? Ok. Listen, please. Este, si tienen ruido ahí a la par de ustedes, este, apáguenlo o bájenle volumen. Porque necesitan escuchar bien esto para poder hacer el ejercicio. Ok. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to. But I need the money. So, what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from two in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, first question. What kind of job does Carlos do? Carlos was the first one. Tutor for kids. Okay, and what kind 
of job does Julia do? Telemarketing agent. Telemarketing agent. Telemarketing agent. Uh, what kind of job does Paul do? Chef, Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Okay. Assistant. Who doesn't like what they do and why? Paul doesn't like his hobby um, because it's really hard work and okay. it's really hard in the kitchen. Okay, this one. Okay, you are good student. Now let's go to section number three. Vamos a la sección 3. Ya terminamos la 2. Y este Hoy tenemos que llegar al, al, a la pregunta que, que tenía la compañera. Una pregunta para todos, porque todos tienen que opinar. Nos saltamos de un solo hasta ayudarle a la compañera ahorita o vamos en el orden. Hello. Vamos en el... Yo opino que orden, teacher. Vaya, vamos en orden. Ok. Entonces, eh, voy a ver. Eh, esta. Ajá. Que esa ya la vimos. Y nos concentramos en esta. Okay, this is class number five, espérense. Me están alertando de algo. Permiten. Ah, ya vi, perdón. Alerta de seguridad. Ah. Bien. Could you do me a favor? Okay. Then, imagination is more important than knowledge. ¿Saben por qué decía esto Albert Einstein? Imagination is more important than knowledge. ¿Saben por qué decía eso? Porque él, no. más, que todo, él más que todo era un científico. ¿Ok? Uh, y, dígame. I think that is because when when he uh, was uh, working in the uh, relative theory, um, he needed a, a love of imagination because yes. it's a crazy theory. Well, actually, uh, most of the theories he had are uh, can be proved just up to date. O sea, muchas de, de las teorías que él tenía han estado siendo comprobadas en la actualidad. En el club, ¿tú? Porque, porque él, este, su laboratorio era su mente. O sea, él no tenía un laboratorio de física en físico, sino que él todo lo hacía en su mente. ¿Verdad? Y hubo cosas que las pudo comprobar todavía cuando él todavía estaba vivo. Eh, me acuerdo que ese que él decía de la curvatura eh, del universo en, en, en con, ciertos, con ciertos objetos celestiales como soles y cosas así, se pudo comprobar cuando hubo un eclipse de sol y ya tenían el telescopio y cosas así que es, que es necesarias para, para verificarlo. Pero él ya lo sabía. Solo tenían que comprobarlo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, that's why imagination is more important than knowledge. Ok. Vamos a ver. Now. The other lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, you will learn 
about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favors that you dislike people asking you for. What kind of uh, favors you don't like to be asked for? ¿Qué tipo de favores no le gusta que le pidan? Borrow money, for example. Yo prefiero que me digan regalame. Yes. <laughs> Yo prefiero que me digan regalame y no prestame. Porque después se hacen enemigos de uno cuando no le pagan. Entonces así por lo menos ya estoy consciente de que ese dinero no va a regresar. Okay. O sea, así de especial soy. <laughs> Eh, otra cosa que no me gusta y de veras detesto y solo dos veces he sido, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, ¿Codeudora? ¿Fiadora? Sí, fiadora. Y las dos veces me han quedado mal. Así que no, 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 no. no. <risa> Nunca más. Ok. Y aquello de que no me pagaron y no me pagaron. Ya la riegan. Ok. Could you help me out? Eh, have you seen this video? ¿Vieron el video? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. ¿Lo entendieron? Yes. Mm, yes. Sí. ¿Y, ¿Y ustedes harían algún favor así? La chica es bastante... O sea, yo por lo menos, si yo viviera sola y me llegaran con una chica así que me va a llegar a... a a, a quitar toda mi concentración, yo no lo haría ese favor. Pero vivo con mis hijos y si en lugar de chica fuera chico, por mí no hay problema. Porque <ríe> ahí uno más no, eh, ni, ni, ni se siente cuando hay, cuando hay más, más, más jóvenes alrededor de uno. Pero si yo viviera sola y tengo que concentrarme en un trabajo, pues parece que es arquitecta la chica. Y, y llega alguien así a hacerme bulla, no me gustaría. Ok, vamos a verlo. Porque de acuerdo a esto hay que contestar. A ver. No quiere. Lo vamos a hacer desde la plataforma. No me lo dejo correr. Esa era la advertencia que me hacía. Eh... Esa era la advertencia que me hacía, ¿cómo se llama? Um, Zoom, que tenía ese video ahí. Ese es. Ok. Now let's watch it. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too. And my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. 
Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. Hey, kiddo. How's the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! down the volume. Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? <laughs> okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. Okay. She is getting into her nerves. I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. Okay. Uh, well, for me, that's true. Para mí eso es, es verdad. Yo prefiero ver, eh, o sea, leer el libro que ver la película. What about you? Bueno, aquí siempre tienen para añadir preguntas aquí y cosas. ¿Ustedes prefieren leer el libro o ver la película? Bofín. A mí me ocurrió algo eh, bien original. A mí me gustan las películas de Harry Potter. Pero este, siempre me había leído el libro antes que saliera la película. Y entonces este, hubo una vez, que no me acuerdo qué pasó, que primero vi la... No, perdón. Veía la película y leía el libro, ¿verdad? Así iba, primero la película y después el libro. Pero hubo una ocasión que tuve la oportunidad de leer el libro antes de ver la película. Y entonces, y sinceramente, esa película no me gustó porque... Eh, no, they don't meet my expectations. O sea, estuvo mejor como me la imaginé yo a como la vi. Entonces, 
Después dije yo, no vuelvo a leer un libro antes de ver la película, porque este, como, que me, como que me quita lo, lo bonito de la película. Entonces, este... Porque tengo demasiada imaginación. Es que yo conforme voy leyendo, yo estoy como que estoy ahí viendo todo lo que está sucediendo mientras estoy leyendo. Y entonces este, tengo bien una, una, una mente bien creativa. De cuando ya voy y veo la película, digo, les faltó esto, les faltó aquello, no hicieron esto, no sé, yo quiero. Entonces, no, 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 no cumplen con mis expectativas. Now. By the end of this class, you will learn how to make requests with models, if clauses and gerunds, request. I see request is like asking favors, okay? And we have, I will leave this here. And we will go to watch the PPT. Requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds. Okay. There, this comes from less formal to more formal. Okay. And we have, now repeat after me. Can I borrow your pencil? Can, Can I, I borrow, I borrow your, your pencil? pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Could you, you lend, lend me, me a, a jacket? jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Is, is it okay if I use your phone? Your phone? A propósito, con esto de la pandemia, no les recomiendo esto. Porque normalmente cuando uno ocupa un teléfono, ¿Verdad? Y después usted va a usar lo mismo. Uh -uh. Al menos que lo, lo limpie con alcohol gel, no ande, no ande prestando su, su teléfono. ¿Ok? So, a ver. Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would it Would be okay, okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I bor borrowed your digital camera? Would you, Would mind, you mind if I borrowed, if I borrowed your, your, your digital camera? camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Would, Would you mind, mind letting me use, use your, laptop? Your, laptop? your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. I, I wonder, wonder if I could borrow some money. money. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. I was wondering if I was your car. Si se fijan, han dejado las más formales con las cosas más difíciles de, de pedir al final. <risa> Dinero y el carro. ¿Verdad? Este, a mí en lo particular, prefiero andar a pie o en bus que pedirle prestado el carro a alguien. Imagínense si, si por cualquier desgracia, bueno, yo tal vez no daría un accidente, pero así and como andan los locos, bien me pueden pegar a mí, ¿verdad? Y entonces, porque tengo que, yo manejo desde los 18 años, ya tengo 56 años y nunca he chocado. O sea, yo chocarle a alguien. Pero sí me han chocado. En parqueos, imagínense. O sea, yo paradita ahí sin hacer nada, parqueadita, y pum, me llega a dar el carro. Y yo digo, cuadre, no me dio parqueada. 
Okay. Now, let's see. Here we have the same request, $20, okay? But with the different, with the different uh, options, okay? Now repeat after me. Can I borrow $20? Can I borrow, Can I borrow $20? $20? $20? Could you lend me $20? Could you lend me $20? Si se fijan, estos son yes, no questions. Yes, I can or no, I can't. Yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Now, is it okay if I borrow $20? Is it okay if I borrow $20? Este también es yes, no question. Uh, yes, it is or not, it isn't, okay. Do you mind if I borrow $20? Do, Do you mind, mind if I borrow $20? $20? Bien, entonces aquí va cambiando la cosa. Si se fijan aquí, eh, el can eh, se ocupa con el verbo en su base form. Lo mismo con could. Ok. En el caso eh, del verbo to be. Se refiere a solamente a is it ok. Hasta ahí llega la función del verbo to be. Por eso no, no, le, no le interfiere con el barrow. O sea, no, no, no termina esto en ING, porque el, el verbo to be afecta hasta el OK. Esta es una IF clause. Por eso es que dice models, IF clauses, en gerunds. ¿Sí? Entonces, esta es una IF clause. Entonces, IF I, I borrow $20. Es como que aquí hubiesen dos diferentes eh, oraciones. Entonces, esta es una como compound sentence. Bueno, actually es a if clause. Entonces, esta es una oración y de aquí para acá viene otra oración. Do you mind if I borrow $20? Do you mind if I borrow $20? Viene siendo casi lo mismo que con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Es una if clause. Would it be okay? Repeat, please. Would it be okay? Would it, Would it be, be okay? okay? If I borrowed $20? If I borrowed $20? Uh, would you mind lending me $20? Would you, would you mind, mind lending me $20? $20? I wonder if I could borrow $20. I, I wonder, wonder if I, I could borrow $20. Si se fijan en esto, eh, todos los de arriba son preguntas. Estas ya son oraciones. I wonder, me pregunto, pero no está haciendo una pregunta. If I could borrow $20. I was wondering, me estaba preguntando, if you would mind, if you'd, you would, you would mind lending me $20. Ok. Estas dos últimas no son preguntas, son oraciones. Entonces, eh, dígame, José Antonio. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I have got a question. Why the first two uh, questions that start with the word would are in past tense? Borrowed. It. Porque, eh, ¿se acuerdan que les dije que esta era una oración y desde la if clause para allá es otra? ¿Sí? Yeah. yeah, yeah. El, el good es como el pasado de will. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, si esta está en pasada, la oración de if clause tiene que estar en pasado también. Por eso. O sea, porque cuando se ocupa este good, es como un pasado. O sea, como, eh, bueno, de hecho, esto se llaman, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Condicionales. Eh, sí, son condicionales, pero eh, no, son, no son first conditionals, son second conditionals. O sea que son, son condicionales imaginarios. Ustedes se ocupan en pasado. Así es la estructura. Okay. Y en el Thanks. caso de lending, en el caso de lending, aquí es gerund. Es un gerund. Mira, estos son pasados participios y este es un gerund. Ok, thanks. Ok. Esas son las estructuras. Ok. Now, request situations. Entonces, aquí hay eh, four requests for situations que les da y les pide que usen todas las formas eh, que ya vimos anteriormente con cada una de estas situaciones. Entonces, aquí les puse yo así con espacios en blanco para que los hagamos. Arriba les puse la situación para que no estemos regresando. Entonces, y aquí abajo les dejé como el comienzo de la estructura como para que no nos perdamos. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, lo, hacemos, lo hacemos solo verbal, ¿verdad? No, no, no lo hacemos por escrito. ¿O prefieren que se haga por escrito? Sí, está bien por escrito. Ok. Sí, no se preocupe, ustedes me, lo, ustedes me lo dictan y yo se los escribo. Pero permítanme, me tengo que salir. Ok. Aceptar, permítanme, ya vamos a ingresar de nuevo. Compartir. Este. ¿Alcanzan a ver el PPT? Sí, se sí, mira. Ya okay. está hecho. Ya está hecho. Entonces, ahorita me dictan cómo iría aquí, según nosotros. Que I borrow. Vaya, y, y dice: Lend me some money for a soda. Que I borrow. Some money for a soda. Excelente. Now, vamos con el siguiente. Could you lend me some money for a soda? Some money for a soda. Mm -hmm. Y después, is it okay if I borrow? Borrow. Some money for a soda too. Okay. And then, permítanme. Voy a. Voy a copiar esto mejor. Ajá. Entonces después dice, do you mind if I borrow? Some money for a soda. Esto está fácil, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Bien. Entonces, alguien de los que nunca me contestan, por favor, me ayuda. Would it be okay if I borrowed? Some money for a soda. Permítame, solo le vamos a ampliar aquí un poquito porque no lo va a alcanzar así. Ok. Some money for a soda. Excellent. Now, would you mind if I borrowed? Some money for a soda. Ok. Bueno, hoy el que me va a ayudar va a leer desde el principio. Uh -huh. Good you mind. Volunteers, volunteers. Would you mind lending me some money for a soda? Excellent. Permita. Okay, now. Next one, please. 
Alejandra Guido, could you help us? Yes, I wonder if I could borrow some money for a soda. Excellent, nice. Now, Jessica Rosales, could you help us? Is what Wendy is you my lady me money for a soda? Some, some money for a soda. Okay. Okay. Yo le saldría barata porque yo entre, entre soda y agua prefiero agua. Bien, entonces vamos con el siguiente. Este es un poco más difícil porque si se fijan ya le tuve que quitar el barro porque no está pidiendo que le presten nada sino que está diciendo return these books to the library for me entonces cómo iría uh, the first one can you return this book to the library for me can you return this this book. To the library. For me. Okay, good. Entonces, voy a copiar todo eso porque lo vamos a estar ocupando. Okay, el siguiente, ¿cómo iría? Could you go to to the library for me to deliver for me to the library for me excellent y no le digo pues que ustedes son pero brutales excelentes now entonces aquí dice is it okay if i estaría bien si yo Return these books the to the library for, for me. No, sería, if I ask you. If I ask you to. To return these return books. Return these books to the library for me. Yeah. Ok, porque okay. está pidiendo que le haga tal cual cosa. Y entonces aquí, ¿cómo iría? Do you mind if I? Lo mismo, uh, ¿verdad? My wife. Ask you, you to return <coughs> these books to the library <coughs> for me. <coughs> Permítanme, le voy a quitar esto. Que más lo que piensa es torbo. Excelente. Now, aquí fíjense que les dejé ED, ED. Uh -huh. Eso significa para que se acuerden que tiene que ser pasado participio. Sí. Y les dejé ING para acordarles que tiene que ser gerundio. Uh -huh. Y aquí también. Ok. ¿Cómo quedaría? Would it be okay if I... Uh, you to, to ask. 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 You ask to, to you. Ask. ask you to, to return. return these books to the library for me. Vamos a mover esto un poquito más para acá. Este también. Es formal, more formal. Ya vamos llegando a Penjamo. Ok. Entonces, would you mind if I ask it? Ask it. You. Permítanme. To return these books to the library for me. Ok. Dígame. La, el segundo yo creo que está de más, ¿verdad? Permítame, permítame. Ah, dice, ah, ya está you aquí. Would you uh, mind if I ask? Ask you to return, no, no to you return. No, que no. Ask you to return. 
Ah, ya, 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 ya. Aquí. Y en el anterior también. Eh, sí. Tienen toda la razón. Ya ven que por eso son, ustedes son mis editores en jefe. Y okay. yo al principio pensaba que el return iba a ser el participio. Y ask you to return. It. Eh, a ver, podría ser también, permítame. Do you mind if. No, eh, wait, eh, tiene que ser el ask. Would yeah. it be okay if I asked you? To return. Este quedaría así en, 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 ¿cómo se llama esto? Base form. Ok, vamos con el siguiente. Ok, dice, would you mind? Asking, I, if I ask, no. Do you mind asking? Ahí es solo directamente asking. Would you mind? Mm. No, sería returning. Yeah. Sería returning. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. No. Uh, is would you mind? Would you mind asking you? To return the library, the library for me. No sería. Would you mind returning these books to the library for me? Mm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Returning. Yeah, return. It's okay. Returning. Would you mind returning, Would you mind returning these books? Vamos a ver cómo me queda. Vamos a quitar esto. Es que el, el you es el que he traído copiando. Por eso yeah. no me había fijado. Porque por solo darle copy paste. <ríe> por andar de araganota. Bien. I wonder if I could ask you. To return, vamos a ver, to return these books to the library for me. Okay, and the last one, ¿cómo quedaría el, el último? I was wondering if you'd mind returning, returning. returning. Mm -hmm. Este como que sí nos, nos hizo quebrarnos un poquito más la cabeza, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Returning this book. This book to the library. Sí. Okay. Es el you, 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 the you that you have, have, el pasado. Yeah. You, you good. You good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You good mind. You good mind. Ok, entonces ahí ya está. Ya está para ustedes. Y ustedes mismos lo han estado haciendo. Good job. Bien, entonces. Eh, ¿Qué horas son? Vale, con esto que hemos practicado ahorita, creo que ustedes, esto se lo voy a mandar y ustedes hacen los últimos dos que están aquí. Porque sí. tenemos que irnos a hacer el, el que la compañera nos preguntó desde un principio. Entonces vamos a hacer el knowledge check eh, 3.4. Yo creo que con todo eso que hemos practicado ahorita lo vamos a hacer bien. Vale. Eh, aquí dice complete the following request with models if process and gerunds es lo que hemos estado haciendo entonces you want to borrow your co-workers underwater camera 
I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your underwater camera. So ese es el ejemplo. Entonces aquí dice, do not write the whole request, only the, complete, the completion of it. Make sure you use the correct, the correct spelling and punctuation. You want to use your roommate's computer. Is it okay? If is I borrow. Okay if I borrow. Your computer. Your computer. Your computer. Borrow. Borrow. Con ED. Con ED. No. Así no más. Ok. If I borrow, el if le hace falta la, la I. El is, ah, if. permítanme, quiero ver. No, ahí está. Ahí está. If I borrow, lo que pasa es que eh, está más larga que el espacio que, que dejaron ahí. Entonces, no, o se borra el principio o se borra el final. Vaya, vale, vamos con el otro. Esa no, I sí, no va con mayúscula. No. Porque es parte de, de esta oración, o sea, ah, esta es la mayúscula. O sea, que yeah, es continuación de aquí. Okay? Yes, yes, Now, yes. you would like uh, for your neighbor to give you a right to work. Would you mind? Uh, lending me. Would no, you mind giving me, giving, giving, giving me, me a, right. a right to work. Giving, giving me. Y en esa no lleva el if. Eh, would you mind? Eh, no. Ah, ok. O oh, permítame, vamos a verificar. Es probable que tenga la razón. Would you mind if pero entonces tendría que llevar pasado participio. Vamos a ver. If you give me a right to work. Eh, sí, pero sería con pasado participio. El pasado participio de give es given. Eh, given. A ver. Uh -huh. a ver. Would you mind if you given me es el pasado participio, given. Sí. Give, gave, given. Given sí. me a right to work. Y era, tiene que ser con question mark. Ok. Ah, ok. Entonces hoy vamos con el otro. You want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Could you? Esta está fácil. Could you? Le vamos a dar solo copiar. Could you? Could you ah, no, mind? Me, 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 me. No. Could you? Eh, no, no, no es, no es con mind aquí. Solo es el, el, el que es. Es el segundo. Could you Could help me? Help me. You help me. To move, move on Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Y el cuestión mm -hmm. más. Porque es pregunta. Y el question mark. Ajá. Aquí en este hicimos question mark, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, teacher, sí. All... Yes. Yes. Y en este, en este, en este the, nos falta. En este all... nos falta. Mm -hmm. En este nos falta. Porque por una question mark nos puede ir mal. En el segundo one too. Sí, ya lo revisamos. Ya, yeah. ok. Ya revisamos. Yes. Permítame. Sí, ahí está. Yeah. Ok. Entonces vamos con la última. You would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. I was wondering if you would mind, mind giving me giving me give, a second giving, piece. Bella, giving, yeah, um, yes, uh, giving. Bella, giving. Giving me a second, a second piece. Piece, piece of pie. Bien, entonces ahora, como esta es de las que dan solo oraciones, no lleva cuestión más, lleva period. 
Okay. Le vamos a dar enviar. Y una no salió mal. Vamos a ver. You would like to your neighbor to give you a right to work. Eh, no son dos las que no salió mal. A ver. In the, in, in the second I is that. If I yeah. borrow your computer. Teacher, the first one, I I just made all of this and I and I and I have no problem. Okay. Tell the us. first one I I I write it if I use your computer. It is okay, okay. if I use your ah, computer. Sí. Es que dice use. Yeah. If I use your computer. Y en la segunda, ¿cómo era? The second is, uh, would you mind giving me a right to work? No, it's gave. Give, no, giving. Giving. It's a giving. It's a, it's a, it's a. Would it's a you mind? Va sin if, entonces. Is, would you mind giving me a right to work? Ah, giving, con ING. Yes, giving. yes ING. Giving me. Giving me a right to work. Ok, right to vamos work. a verificar ahora. Todavía me salió una mala. Ah, es que aquí no le di espacio. Ok. Yeah. Vamos a ver. ¡Hoy sí! Yeah. Oh, ok. <laughs> Bien, entonces, ¿se lo, pongo, <laughs> ¿se lo pongo aquí para copiar y pegar o, 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 o ya las tiene? ¿Se las pongo uh -huh. para copiar y pegar? Se, yes. las mando, se las mando por el chat. Yes, please. El WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ok. Vamos al WhatsApp. Aquí va. Esta es la primera. Permítanme. Esta es la segunda. Aquí. Y esta es la tercera. Y vamos con la cuarta. Ok. Y entonces, de deber les va a quedar eh, las últimas dos diapositivas que les mandé, que traten de completarlas por su cuenta. Y este, see you tomorrow. Y vamos a verificar si, los, si, si las terminaron de hacer y para que las hagamos más fácil. Me van a ayudar los que casi no hablan, porque casi solo la misma gente me, me, me contesta. Entonces vengan preparados que para mañana, como lo que faltan son como 10, ¿no? Entonces los 10 que menos me hablan, los voy a poner a hablar, ¿ok? No se me vayan a escapar. Okay. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye, bye. bye. Okay. Night. Ya, Night. Le voy a compartir el PPT para que lo hagan. Cuídense. Take care. Thank you. Bye. bye.